teachers don't believe that they're good at math. Most teachers are not comfortable with math. Most teachers struggle, and actually most students struggle with math. And so that puts teachers in a place of asking questions. And when they're in that place, they're more likely to be ready to research and ready to, to come up with new ideas and, and think about that. So it's a wonderful leverage point. Um, once they see what's successful in math, teachers automatically say, wow, I could do that in, in science. That would make sense for my literacy program. And it's just a really very nice entry point for teachers and schools. Another, another piece for leveraging mathematics is that there's so much learning to do in mathematics. Uh, you, you can never know too much math. It's a little bit different in literacy. People feel confident with literacy and they think like, you know, once you learn how to read, you're a reader, and so we're just working on this, little, on this idea of comprehension. Well, there are parallels between comprehension and thinking about concepts, and there are parallels between decoding and thinking about skills. So, but the mathematics continues to unravel over and over again, and the end in mind in mathematics is, is continues to really inspire teachers, not only in their teaching with children, but in their own professional growth. So it stimulates the, the teacher's professional growth in a way that is empowering for them. One big idea that we keep confronting everywhere we go is the end in mind. What, what are people aiming for in terms of math instruction? And it plays out in terms of quality work. What is the kind of student work that a teacher believes is high quality? Because that's what will be transferred to the children. Whatever the teacher believes is quality is what the children will create. And there's a wide variety, a huge difference in what people believe is quality. What are they aiming for? Some people believe that fast, efficient work is, is the key. The multiplication tables, um, doing the algorithm correctly, doing 60 problems on a page, doing packets of work. And that's what they aim for. That's what they work very hard on. That's what the students work very hard on. Another classroom might have thinking and reasoning, problem solving, having kids write their thinking, communication, mathematical communication, and that's what they believe is quality. And what we find is that we have to help people identify and articulate what are they aiming for and then what else could happen. Perhaps teacher A has some of the pieces we need to think about. Perhaps teacher B has some pieces that we need to think about. What are we aiming for? What is the end in mind? That's a critical part of what we look at. Mm -hmm. And once you have an end in mind, the, one of the second critical pieces is the stance of a researcher. Uh, quality work requires research. You, you can't read about it and say, like, oh, this must be quality work. You know, the quality work was something that grew over time and, and is still growing even as we speak. You know, what we thought was quality at one particular point, what we thought were multiple strategies, we had even more strategies that we, that we developed and, and could offer uh, children. What we thought language development was uh, for children was just the beginning. And, and as we researched it more, uh, then, then what ended up happening was that the, the work of the students uh, surpass anything that we had initially imagined and that also gave us more motivation to continue to research. Defining what research means was another another critical piece uh, because a lot of people think that research is writing a, a paper that oh as a result of doing research in the classroom I now have to write something and present it to somebody, defend it, and I said that's not the type of research that we're talking about. The type of research that we're talking about is where you have principals, coaches, teachers, uh, that are on a more level playing field, that are in the classroom working with these ideas. And as we, as we really are working with these ideas, what ends up happening is that the whole system is, is finding out what, what these ideas mean uh, simultaneously. And the roles start to blur. You know, you have teachers that are now uh, leaders. You have uh, coaches that are leaders. You have principals that are teachers. You have principals that are coaches. You have coaches that are also teachers and principals as well. And so, so the, the playing field starts to level as we started to research ideas of mathematics in the classroom and leveraging those ideas into excitement, but more importantly, into success for children in mathematics.